Hey guys, it's Danny. I just came home, I'm out of breath, but today I made a new friend. And what do you know, he likes orchids and he has a flower shop. So let me just show you what I found in this flower shop. So today we went to get something good for baby Evil and then I felt this calling that drew me to this flower shop and I decided what the heck, I'm gonna go in. And it actually is a small flower shop, it's not a garden center. But what I found there, oh my, so we're gonna take these one by one. I literally just got home, I don't have IDs, I don't have anything, I just took whatever I liked. There were a lot more I would have taken, but you know, gotta be a responsible shopper. But literally, this is my new favorite place with cheap orchids. So let's start from that corner. Okay, so what we have here is actually a cymbidium. As you can see, it is a tiny cymbidium, really not tall. I'll give you a sort of a preview at the end of how big these orchids are, but it has pendant blooms and I think I feel a fragrance as well. I cannot wait to check out these orchids, see what they are, but it has quite a few flower spikes. As far as I know, these types of cymbidiums, which maybe they're a sort of a Chinese cymbidium, I'm not entirely sure, it certainly looks that way. My knowledge with cymbidiums is not extensive, so I do have to research it. But when I saw it, oh my, this, you know what this is? This is mine. That's the mentality when I see something that I like. I don't care what it is, it's mine. Let's just call it like that. Okay, okay. And then I would research it, see what it was, how to care for it, because just look at it. It's so majestic. It is a pretty huge orchid. It's not a flimsy orchid. It has quite a lot of spikes. As you can see, there are a few in the back as well. What I find interesting with this orchid, now I'm not sure if it's because of the cold or because some of the flowers are on their way out. I'm not entirely sure. But as you can see, when the flowers open, they're kind of white. And as they age, they turn this really pretty pink, especially on the lip. Now, since I don't know the idea of this orchid, I'm not entirely sure if it's normal. Um, the flower shop was a little bit cold and the shop owner told me that because they cannot heat up all that much at the moment, they prefer not to water the orchids as much. So my friend kind of knew what he was talking about. And yeah, I'm not entirely sure if this is damage of some sorts or the flowers are on their way out or simply this is how they look like when they age. So I definitely don't mind if this orchid will not hold on to her flowers for a lot of time. I will of course try to take care of it and make it rebloom, so that's good with me. And the price that I paid for this cymbidium was not necessarily tiny, but considering cymbidiums are indeed I think one of the most expensive orchids you can buy, particularly the big ones, I just am really happy. So this is one of the few orchids I actually paid full price for, which is kind of amazing. Okay, I just gave it a sniff. It definitely has a sort of a fragrance, but I think it's not showing its full potential due to the cold, due to the weather outside, which is pretty gloomy at the moment. It's not exactly morning, so yeah, I'm gonna keep you up to date. Of course, if I find an ID, I will make a separate video for this guy. But obviously, if you have IDs, always let me know in the comment section below. So let me show you the orchid herself a little bit. She looks pretty dang good, doesn't she? Quite a lot of pseudobulbs quite healthy looking plant. I'm really so, so happy. I've literally never seen a pendant cymbidium in a flower shop, honestly. So yeah, this just had to be mine. Okay, next up we have a Phalaenopsis. Yet again, one of those big lips Phalaenopsis. I absolutely needed to have this one. Now this one was part of an arrangement somehow. And the arrangement itself, I presume was a bit more expensive but I really liked it and my new friend told me, you know what, you can just pluck out this orchid, take it, it's 10 euros and it's yours. Perfect! So I purchased it. Again, I don't have an ID, but I hope I can find a name for it soon. There aren't many big lip or big foot phalaenopsis, so the ones available should be ID'd, theoretically, or at least this is what I believe. I think I can find an ID for this one pretty, pretty fast. The orchid herself looks pretty good. This thing that you see in the middle, it's not a mealy bug. It was part of that decoration and arrangement or whatever. Well, it's Christmas. Everybody has decorations. Oh, and inside the pot, you can see some... Um, red fruit, they really are some fruit. Yeah, it was part of the decoration, but as it just so happens, I just got it without the decoration and I got it at a more than decent price actually. The orchid looks decent, it's in good health and these flowers are just beautiful. What's happening to me? Am I starting to like Phalaenopsis? Maybe. But anyway, come on, would you leave this sit in the store? No, you wouldn't really, so I couldn't leave it in the store either. Okay, next to it. Oh, an intergeneric. 
Okay, so with the move and with the Fusarium and with everything, I lost quite a lot of Brassias. I only have the Eternal Wind, which is pretty immortal, to be honest. She takes a lot of abuse. So this, it's not necessarily a Brassia, it is, oh, I'm missing the name, it is a Midava or Mivada. Hmm. Anyway, Mivara, Midava, or a hybrid of the sorts. I know this orchid. Again, never actually saw it in stores. I know in Romania some people found it. It was very rare. I kind of always wanted it. Now, these roots are perfectly good roots. But as I was saying, since it was kind of cold in the shop, they preferred not to water the orchids or water them sparingly, which is not a bad thing. So this one I got at a discount. The roots are perfectly fine on this orchid and the orchid herself looks pretty good. I have no complaints. The flowers are almost all in good condition. I bet they're not gonna last all that long, but it's a fantastic buy. I'm super, super happy to have this one. You know what I'm actually looking for? If you remember a lot of years ago, well, not so many, I had a yellow one. What was it? It was a Brasada, Brasada something. It had small, tiny yellow flowers, yellow golden, the way I like them. Well, that one turned out to have a virus. So obviously I lost it. When I purchased it, it was at a discount. I didn't really know what to look for, but it had obvious signs of virus. I tested it. If you remember, I had those virus tests. It had a virus. She's done. So I was kind of looking for something similar to her for a long time. And this is even better because these blooms are not the tiniest blooms. They're quite substantial. Love it. I will, of course, get an ID for it. She's not a rare orchid. I just didn't happen to find it. Alrighty, next to it. This used to be a brassia. <laughs> it still is a brassia. But as I was saying, I don't have any more brassias. I only have one left. So this most probably is the famous shooting star hybrid. Again, a non-rare orchid. I just didn't happen to see brassias. I got this one for free <laughs> because it doesn't have flowers. Also, suitable. Oh no, the orchid actually looks super fine. But with this one, he said, you can have it for free. Enjoy, go. So I did. There were a few more orchids that didn't have flowers, but I couldn't tell what they were really. And one of them had identical pseudobulbs with the eternal wind. The other one, not so much from the spent flowers. I couldn't tell if it was shooting star or something else. So yeah, I only took this one. I didn't take that one. But now that I think about it, maybe I should have took that one as well. What's wrong with me? I should have taken that one as well. Ah, anyway, so yeah, this is a shooting star, most probably. It was a free orchid. Looks fantastic as well. The stubobs are not even wrinkly. I'm pretty sure she's okay. And if she has a problem, well, she was free. <laughs> so it's okay. Okay, let me go in front now. This is something that eludes me a little bit. I'll focus in a second. Hold on, hold on. Alrighty, this, what does this look like to you guys? Um, to me, it looks like a sort of a colmenara, a sort of a wildcat, but not really, right? It doesn't really look like a wildcat, although it has the colors. And in reality, these colors are even darker. It appears even darker. She has pretty wrinkly pseudobulbs, but the roots, I checked them, they're okay. Maybe she wasn't watered, maybe she was a little bit neglected, but you know me, I know what to do with them. So yet again, a beautiful intergeneric. I didn't check for a smell, but I don't feel anything. Looks very, very, very similar to the wildcat hybrids, but the shape, let me give you a close up of the shape. The shape is different. I mean, I don't know what this is in full honesty. It might just be a wildcat or a different type of colmenera, but I didn't see it so far in stores. Not this shape. It has a bigger flower than the wildcats as well. Don't know if you can tell, but this is not a wildcat flower. Other than that, colors are identical. I don't know what this is, but it's mine. <laughs> So from now on, I'll just call you mine, okay? So yeah, another beautiful discounted orchid. I'll leave this for last because this is something else. Okay, now, um, yep, <laughs> a huge spidium. Should I tell you the price? Do you know how much I pay for this guy? Try to guess in your mind right now. How much would you like spend on this orchid, this humongous orchid, which yeah, it doesn't have flowers, but still, it's a monster. I'll tell you, I paid 10 euros because again, it was discounted because again, it doesn't have flowers. But he knew what this is. It was a cymbidium, which is creamy, you know, not white, not orange, the creamy type of cymbidium with humongous flowers. Yeah, that's the guy. Okay, now let me show you something interesting. This orchid has another flower spike there. Do you see it? Now, I don't know if the buds are okay inside it. I'm keeping my hopes high. 
but this is a humongous orchid for 10 euros. Of course I didn't say no. Alrighty, and the last one. Uh, <laughs> this is nothing special. What I did today was actually to go at my other favorite shop, which is not my favorite anymore, that has cheap orchids. I wanted a white phalaenopsis for an experiment. And hopefully soon you'll see what I'm talking about. I am planning some pretty important videos with this orchid. So I was interested in a white orchid that still has some buds, that looks okay, and the orchid by all means is really healthy, looks okay, has roots, and also it has a sort of a reddish lip. And I don't have one like that. But this orchid was not from this shop that I just discovered today. Anyway, it's a good store, but not as good as the one that I found today. So today, kind of gloomy, but for whatever reason, we decided to take my car, which is a two-seater. Now, from all of these orchids that you see here, and let me give you some perspective. From all of these orchids that you see here, guess how many set in the trunk? I'll tell you, none. <laughs> all of them set in the only two available seats that the car can produce. All of them. Slightly uncomfortable, but totally worth it. So now I'm here. I grab my camera, I film them, I show them to you, and I will go and research them, play with my new toys. It's a happy, happy day today. So thank you guys for watching. Of course, I'll keep you up to date with them and try to find IDs and all of that. And yeah, we'll see what beautiful videos we'll make with these orchids as well. So alrighty, if you've enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up. If you hated it, give it a thumbs down. Subscribe to my channel for daily orchid and plants videos and maybe hauls. I'm just saying, who knows now? I don't know. And of course, don't forget to turn on notifications so you never miss a video. And with that said, I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye!